former love, Linda, too much for Heather. E.T. looks back at the Beatles' big romance in tonight's story from stage 28. Getting married is, a, is quite a weird situation, I think, because suddenly for the first time in your life, you're living very, very intimately with someone who you don't necessarily know. Paul spoke those strangely prophetic words to E.T. more than 20 years ago when he was still married to the love of his life, Linda Eastman. La, 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 la. Linda differed from Heather right from the start. Compare their weddings. Heather opted for a lavish affair at an Irish castle. Linda, by contrast, married Paul at a London's registers office in 1969. It feels fine, thank you. The fans that thought they were going to marry me were a problem. That was a problem because suddenly I was no longer eligible. So they hated Linda in a big way. But over time, Linda managed to win over her critics, proving herself as a mother, an animal rights activist, and even a musician in Paul's band Wings. She was also endearingly down to earth and unfazed about her husband's place in history. I don't think of him as a living legend. I really think of him as my husband, as a man. You know, I treat him like any man. Heather, on the other hand, was reviled in the British press. With no prenup, she was often portrayed as a gold digger. And Paul's four children were said to be unhappy with her, too. Daughter Stella was reportedly miffed at not being asked to design her wedding dress. Paul and Heather lasted only four years together, as opposed to nearly 30 years with Linda, who confided it wasn't always easy. I don't think you have a long relationship where people just get a bit fed up or they think, oh, I don't agree with that, and you start arguing about it, but I would never change it. In a 1989 interview, Paul agreed. When you've been married 20 years like me, um, it's not a sweet subject at all. It's bittersweet, it's, you know, it's, it's both. But Paul and Linda stuck together and were still madly in love right up until the day she died from cancer in 1998. Paul was gracious at the New York Memorial for his late wife, and no one can blame him for looking for love again. But perhaps a second perfect marriage was just too much for anyone to achieve in one lifetime.